permanent layoffs. Sam Spangler has our top story. HMS host employees are obviously worried about what's next with their income, but they're more concerned about their health insurance coverage in the midst of a pandemic, which they've been without since June. Janine Ng has been working as a server at Honolulu's airport for 22 years and is one of hundreds of employees who've been furloughed since March. She says she's had to purchase private insurance after losing her employer-covered plan, and it comes with quite the hefty price tag. I'm covered. My family's covered. It's about almost 1200 a month, so it's a lot. For utility worker Israel Kahlo, his weekly $338 unemployment check isn't enough to cover private insurance, despite his various conditions that require medication. I'm so con uh, concerned about my medical because I, as of now, I have my high blood pressure, I have my cholesterol, I have my uh, uh, high sugar. So I need a doctor. HMS Host is owned by Italian multinational corporation Autogrill and operates in 120 airports. HMS Host has a contract with Honolulu that has not gone out to bid since 1992. Their current contract runs until 2029. The company announced today that if the furloughed workers aren't called back by October the 15th, the layoffs will become permanent. The union that represents those workers here in Hawaii says it was sickened by HMS Host's decision. The corporations that have made money here in Hawaii all these years forget us when when they can't make any money anymore and then they threw us on the trash heap. Gill says the union went to the state capitol twice this year during sessions to try and save their jobs. The federal government's $600 weekly unemployment checks have ended and the White House and Congress are still at a standstill over a new relief bill. With Governor David Ige vetoing a $100 additional plus up from the state, Workers say they feel left out in the cold. It's raining. It's pouring right now. I think people need help. Now, the union, Local 5, did hold a strike against HMS host back in December for three days, demanding better wages as well as benefits. Currently, the state has taken in 265,000 unemployment claims. Sam Spangler, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.